If you like it raw, then you're gonna love this salmon poke bowl. It's so fresh and full of flavor. It'll satisfy your needs. First, we need to prepare the fish. I have a beautiful fillet of wild salmon right here. You can use tuna, but salmon, it's like the butter of the sea. Just make sure the skin and the bones are removed and all you have to do is cube it up. You can make the pieces as big or as small as you like. I like good bite-sized pieces. And just place everything in a bowl. Next, make sushi rice. Place that in a pot with some water and bring it up to a boil. Once it boils, cover it up, reduce the heat. Then after 15 minutes, turn off the heat, give it a little fluff. And with the heat off, put the lid back on and leave it for another five minutes. Now we could season the rice. So I've got a little rice wine vinegar to that, just a little sugar and salt. Then just whisk it until the sugar is dissolved. And you just spoon a little bit over the rice, mix it up. Make sure you're not mushing the rice too much, you're just kind of cutting through it. Awesome, now we're gonna add some seasoned seaweed. First I'm gonna take a little snack. Mm. And then add the rest, just sprinkle it in. This step is optional. Well, if you think about it, everything in life is optional, right? That just gets mixed in. Now I have a whole bunch of delicious things happening here. You can season them any way you'd like. This is just my favorite combination. So I have some soy sauce, just a little bit at a time. You can taste as you go. Some sesame oil, a nice bite from rice wine vinegar, just very little of this. Some lime juice. I like a little bit of heat with some sriracha. You go as heavy or as light on this as you want. And finally, some chopped up scallions. Boom, that's it, super simple. Now all you have to do is mix it up. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. The rice is ready, the fish is ready. Now I'm ready for some toppings. So I got an avocado here, just gonna slice that up. Ta-da! I'm so impressed by an avocado. Just make a few thin slices. Now it's time to plate up, just get a good scoop of rice. It's great if the rice is just a little warm but not too hot. Top the rice with that beautiful salmon. And the sliced avocado on the side. Look at that fan, so fancy. And for a little crunch, some sliced cucumber. Since I like a lot of texture, I like to add roasted seaweed. And lastly, some black and white sesame seeds. Look at that, damn gorgeous. And there you have it, salmon poke bowl. I cannot wait to dig into this. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. <laughs> I gotta have a second bite. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you next time. Remember to just eat life. Mm. Oh baby, I like it raw.